Hi, I'm Trevor Dimoff. I teach music and band. In this episode, we're going to learn how to play with Voice Spinner in Chrome Music Lab. The fastest way to get there is to type in Chrome Music Lab in Google search. We'll follow the first link because it's usually the one it is. And then we're looking for Voice Spinner, the round one. So the way Voice Spinner works is that you have a short little loop of about three seconds that you can record anything you want with your microphone. Make sure you enable the allow microphone, otherwise it won't work for you. So I'm going to try a couple experiments and we're going to see what happens when we play with it. Ah! Uh, so first voice. The playback is down here. In the middle stops it. Uh, 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 uh. So that's how they make minion sounds. They speed up voices or talk really high. As you move further to the right, it sounds faster, and that makes it also sound higher. When we go the other way to the left, it goes backwards. So it starts to sound really freaky. The closer it is to the middle, the slower. So that's how that works. Let's try a couple other sounds and see what happens. First, xylophone. So because the xylophone has a sharp start to the sound and it dies away really quickly, when you go backwards, it works backwards and sounds really crazy. Let's try a drum. Sometimes when you go really slow, it gets kind of glitchy, so it doesn't always look exactly the way it sounds, but the sound is usually good. Let's try a guitar, see what happens now. And that's how the voice spinner works. So the further away you go from center, the faster and therefore the higher the pitch. And if you go to the left, it also goes backwards to give you all kinds of freaky sound effects. Have some fun with it. <laughs> 